Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. My name is Stephanie. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, consider hitting that subscribe button. So the day is finally here, you guys. Wonder Woman 1984. We're about to sit down, get a little bit cozy, turn on some HBO Max, and check out this movie. I'll catch you guys here in a little bit to see my reaction. Actually, you know what? No. No, this does not feel right. We're gonna do something about this. This whole world pretty much up until where that person's at. We're gonna have this whole like little section to ourselves. Two hours later. And that is how we watched Wonder Woman. Um, so first thoughts for oh wait, before that, so Wonder Woman was released uh Christmas Day, uh December 25th, theaters and HBO Max. It is two hours 35 minutes long. It's directed by Patty Jenkins, and of course uh stars Gal Gadot. Gadot or Gadot? Gado, you can see that. Yeah. Uh, Chris Pine, and then we got newcomer Kristen Wiig as Cheetah, Barbara, and then Pedro Pascal as the villain of the story. Well, I guess technically it had two villains, but yeah. what are your guys' uh, thoughts? Spoiler free review, you guys, because it just came out today. Again, it is available on HBO Max as well, but what are your guys? Can you see me? I don't know. <laughs> It's pretty dark. I mean, if it's, it's, it's very bright, you guys. The sun is out and mighty. But there goes Desiree. That's my older sister. She's a newcomer. I know this is the third time you come to the theaters, but this is your first time back in theaters, right? Back in theaters, yes. Yeah, okay. Should we maybe switch, turn over the other way? Maybe away from this one, that'd be the switch. Let's see if we can catch this one differently. Oh yeah, that's better. There you go! Guys, what are your thoughts? I liked it. Yeah, you I got teary eyed right there in that one spot mm -hmm. that I was like, oh my god, I don't want to start crying because Stephanie's going to make fun of me. <laughs> And do you like it better than the first one, or about the same, or just or? Uh, no, I like the first one better. Okay, that's right. I liked it. I also got teary eye, um, but the first one's definitely better for me. I thought, I, for me, I guess I was going in with uh, very big expectations, mm -hmm. and some of them I didn't like. I, I, I like the movie, but it didn't reach my expectation of what I was already going in with. Mm -hmm. yeah. so I don't know I if it was that acting or the storyline or what it was but or if it was like missing something or mm -hmm. it was just i don't know yeah it just something was off mm -hmm. something was off i don't know what it was i mean i enjoyed it mm -hmm. yeah i enjoyed it i, I like the villains are you yeah. glad you saw it in theater or to have that theatrical experience or now are you like oh i should just watch it at home no i'm okay with watching it and uh, watching it at the theater desert same thing um, no, I think I could have watched it at home. Could have watched it at yeah. home? Okay. Well, I could have watched it at home. Yeah, but yeah, like... But I, I, but I, I like the big screen thing. Yeah. It was nice to watch it in the big screen, but uh, it was... Of how I envisioned something going mm -hmm. on, I could have preferred, like, probably just seeing it on regular TV. So, save your buck. Either way, could have yeah. gone. Um, first off... I really like the score. Hans Zimmerman is uh, the one that, that that did the music. The music was, oh, yeah, I the thought music. was really yeah. great. Um, one of my biggest things that I did not like was how the length of it. It was way too long. I felt I felt it. Um, it could have definitely been maybe like 20 minutes or even 30 minutes shorter because it was a two two and a half hour movie. Yeah. So they could have I think cut down on it because I feel like there was I think what may have ruined it was i feel like they fluffed it a little bit too much yeah, with there was a couple scenes that i could have done without yeah <laughs> they, they just added way too much that was very unnecessary i did like hold on let me 
Let's give it a go. Yeah, here, get a little chicle. Hold on. I do, I do have a, a paper towel. Oh, do you? Okay. I do like the same scene that they incorporated, you know, with Trevor, which is not a spoiler because part of the, the, the trailer um, with him, you know, dressing up. Well, not dressing up, but trying to figure out what to wear because obviously that happened mm -hmm. in the first part, too. And overall, I definitely do like the first part better, but I do like the villains in this part way better because yes, I was yeah. not really a fan of Hades. Um, I do like the action sequences here, too, because that final scene with Hades in the first part, I think, was not really nah. done good. It was like the green screen. It was just terrible. Kristen wig did great has she ever been uh, a villain in something oh um, like i don't remember seeing I don't think her so. i like i liked her as yeah i thought i was gonna be expecting more of a, a comedic relief from her like oh it's gonna be like little funny parts here and there and she really doesn't have anything i think there was like maybe there at the beginning that maybe has something funny but like for the most part like she was like she did a really really good yes. job like really i i would love to see her play a character like this again better best call you know him in a couple things and i think he did a great villain there towards the end too I was like, mm, mm. but still prefer them better than Hades. I'm gonna go ahead and give Wonder Woman 1984 medium popcorn. Trying not to have my expectations super, super high because I was afraid of something like this because usually when I have high expectations, I always get let down. I think a lot of people are always like, why are you not like super excited? I don't like to get excited about movies to be honest with you because whenever I do, I get disappointed. So I always kind of go with, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I did expect more out of it than me and like Desiree said but I mean overall it was good I don't regret coming to theaters I liked having the theatrical experience those are all my thoughts on and our thoughts on Wonder Woman 1984 and our reaction coming straight out from the theater well let me know down below what did you guys think about the movie if you've seen it did you watch it in theaters did you watch it at home um if you've seen both do you prefer part one or 1984 oh there is a post uh, credit scene um you don't have to wait too long but of course if you are home you can just fast forward it do come to theaters you don't have to wait very long I don't even think like two minutes I think it came on right yeah it yeah, yeah it was it was really quick that's all i have for you you guys have a merry christmas don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time um i'm gonna go home watch so and we're gonna get that uh review of maybe later on today or tomorrow bye, bye.